This lesson deals with supplemental problem 5.8. You can find this problem in the course ebook in the chapter 5 supplemental problem starting on page 10. Given this one capacitor circuit with a switch that opens at time t equals 0, can you find the capacitor current and the resistor current for all time? Since we have a one capacitor circuit with a switch, we can use our six step algorithm. And the first step is to formulate the equations. We're going to solve for i sub c of t and i sub 4k of t. And it's going to be the form of a first order differential equation solution, some a plus b times e to the minus the quantity t minus t0 divided by tau. And here t0 is equal to 0. Because I have two currents to solve for, I'll use a subscript 1 and 2. Step 2 in our algorithm is to find the pre-switching conditions for our variables i sub c and i sub 4k. But we also need to find the capacitor voltage, because this is the one thing that won't change as we pass through 0. So here's our switch in this position for a long time. That means the capacitor looks like an open circuit because it's in a DC circuit. And if you wait long enough, I is equal to C dV dt. And if the voltage isn't changing, the current's equal to zero. We solve for this current, it's gonna be zero. That's one of the things we're looking for. So that's I sub C of zero minus. The current in here is simply the current of this 20 volt 6K loop with the 4K. 20 volts divided by 10K is the current flowing in this path, which is two milliamps. The voltage across the capacitor, we can just use a voltage divider of 4K over 4K plus 6K times 20 volts, and that's 8 volts. It's also equal to this current times 4K. Step 3 of the algorithm is to find our variables as we pass through the switching time. We're looking for the initial conditions of I sub C and I sub 4K at T equals 0 plus. The switch is now open. The voltage across the capacitor and also across this resistor was 8 volts before we switch, it must still be 8 volts after we switch. And that means that the current in this resistor is going to be 8 volts divided by 4K, or 2 milliamps. And that's going to be A2 plus B2 times E to the minus 0. This number is A2 plus B2. The capacitor current is the current flowing in the opposite direction of I of the 4K resistor. The capacitor current is going to be a minus 2 milliamps, and that's going to be our A1 plus B1 times E to the 0, or just A1 plus B1. Step four is to find the final conditions of our variables, I sub C and I of 4K, as T approaches infinity. The capacitor looks like an open circuit in a DC circuit if you wait long enough. The current in this capacitor is zero, and that's gonna be A1. There's no current here, there's no current here. This is also equal to zero, and that's gonna be equal to A2. Step five is to find the Thevenin resistance seen by the capacitance. And this is for T after the switch changes. Still have an open circuit, set all the independent sources equal to zero, and look back from the capacitor and see what you see. This is disconnected, so it doesn't have any effect, and all we see is the 4K resistor. Our time constant is 4K times two microfarads. We get eight milliseconds. Step six is to put it all together. A1 plus B1 was minus two milli. A1 was zero. B1 is equal to minus two milli. I sub C is zero minus two milli times E to the minus T over tau, which was 8 milliseconds. And the units are amps. You can put the milli here, you can put the milli over here. And we did find that that current was zero for t less than zero, so we have a discontinuity. We don't have the equality here, we just have greater than zero and less than zero. And a capacitor current can change instantaneously. What can't change instantaneously is the capacitor voltage. Let's solve for I of the 4K resistor. So A2 plus B2 was 2 milli, A2 was zero, so B2 is equal to 2 milli. We have zero plus 2 milli, e to the minus t over 8 millisecond amps. And when T was less than zero, we found that the current was two milliamps. The resistor current normally can change instantaneously, but it's also related to the capacitor voltage because the capacitor is right across it. If we set T equal to zero here, you get E to the minus zero, which is one. So you get two milliamps and we have two milliamps here. So we're continuous with the current in the resistor because of how it's constrained by the circuit. This is the current for T greater than or equal to zero and T less than or equal to zero. And this is supplemental problem 5.8.